and welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliet and it's really nice to have you back here watching my sewing and style related content. And today I have a few items that I have to share with you. They are the tools that really help change my sewing game. I mean, since I found out about these or I came across them either through friends, social media, my sewing game has been changed. So if you are interested in changing your sewing game like I did, keep on watching. Right, number 10 on my list are these. These are seam allowance magnets. I use these, I attach them to my scissors. I mean, I love scissors, I've got a huge collection. But um, when I do use scissors for quick projects that don't require a lot of like pattern drafting, what I do is I attach this to my scissors adjust the rings to how many centimeter seam allowance I require and um, I start cutting. It guides you and shows you where to place your scissors to enable you get the right amount of seam allowance. Excellent game changer this one. Not the scissors, well yeah this, not the scissors. <laughs> okay, okay on to number nine. These, these are point turners but these have really helped with making points. Like, so you know, when you create a corner, you turn it out. Rather than using, please don't do this. Rather than using a pin to poke it out, please do not use these. This one is a wooden one and it's got a love, it's like rounded, it's rounded so it won't poke the fabric out or poke out some threads and ruin your work. This one's slightly sharper and it's plastic, but they both do the same job and they are excellent. They're so cheap as well. I mean, all of these are dirt cheap. They're not expensive at all. So I would recommend them in using this. So that's number nine. Okay, so moving on to number eight. <laughs> okay, so anyone who is a vet, please don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I found out about these two from my friend Janet. Um, they're forceps, right? They're forceps. I mean, I used this traditional loop turner in the past, this one. But um, I mean, if you're not very good, at, you know, if you're not very familiar with the use of these um, loop turners, I think this would do the job for you. So um, they're very, and they're, they're quite cheap as well. I got them on eBay, I think. Um, yeah super 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 cheap and very effective um, there are so many things that people use these for in the sew sewing community but I use mine for turning out um, so turning out loops I use them as loop turners I still use this for really really narrow when you've got a really narrow um, string okay let me show you a typical example Something like this. This is my um, pin cushion that goes around my sewing machine. When I made this, um, you can see how narrow the ties are. I didn't use this forcep for it because, I mean, it can only go a certain, you know, distance. It won't go that far up this, to, um, this tie. Um, in this, so in this situation, I used my loop turners, my loop turner. But, um, you know, when you've got bigger ties, excellent and efficient. Number seven on the list. These are excellent and really, really good um, seam rippers. I mean, I use, I use this, you know, here and there whenever I can't find this. And most sewers would, uh, you know, agree with me that you can never have too many um, seam rippers but I mean this is really special because um, I tell you why it has a rubber at the bottom of it at the you know at the other end of it so it's like a pencil really <laughs> so you use this to um, rip your to rip your seams or you know cut threads or whatever it is you want to do and you use this to rub the threads out and make sure it doesn't leave like bits of thread all over your projects. Excellent, this is a game changer. I mean, this, I've rubbed it out and it's looking really um, rough at the edge of it, but at the tip, it does a good job. And it doesn't leave any, it doesn't leave any marks on your fabric, just so you know. Excellent, and I've got more of this rubber. It's really good the way they, um, 
I like the way they have they have more of the rubber. Actually, there's loads of it um, on the, the lid, so it's got a cover, and this cover is really good because um, it keeps this nice and sharp. So it's a it's called seam fix, and this you've got more of the rubber on this end. So um, game changer this one, massive game changer. Six on the list. This one. Okay, so you see this, right? It's I've, I've, I'm, I'm nearly done. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, so you've got the whole this whole tube here is full of powder chalk. Yeah, and I, I guess you can get it. You can get it in different colours, but I've got white, and um, so I like my, you know, my traditional chalk. But when I I want to make really thin, it makes really really thin lines on your fabric, and the powder is so easy to dust off, and that's the reason why I really like this. So, you know, it's got a like a, a, a I don't know if you can hear the sound, but as it rolls along your fabric. This rolls along, so, so it's like a. It, as it rolls along your fabric, it leaves white powder on along, and it's it's so you can hardly see this on my finger. It's such a good tool, this one, really good tool. But if you you know you like your traditional chalk, go for it. Hmm. Number five on my list has got to be this. It's, just has to be this one here. Okay, it's a hem it's for hemming. So um, and it's got marks on one side you've got it in centimeters and on the other side you've got it in inches. Really really good. And you can use it on either this side of the um, the tool, this side, this side, or that side. That's for your curve, your curves, and this is for your straight hems. And the good thing about it is with um, you put your iron on it, so when your iron's on it and you're pressing along the heat. The heat of your iron doesn't ruin it, doesn't melt it, because it's metal. What else do you want? It's excellent. The number four on my list has got to be this thing here. I mean, it's an owl, A-W-L. It's I use this for all sorts of different things. It's always around, and it's such a shame that I only, I only have one. It's so sharp. If you've got kids around, make sure they're not around the kids, because it's so sharp and it could hurt kids. Or anyone <laughs> it's never hurt me but you know be very careful with this but I use it for every and anything that requires a sharp point I use it when I'm creating patterns so when I need to um you know when I'm doing dark manipulation I use this for creating actual dark points on my fabric if the fabric is not so delicate I would use it to create the at the very tip of my dart I, I put it I create a tiny little hole so I can see it on the other side and then I mark it with my chalk. I mean, I use this for even when I'm working on my sewing machine. I use this to feed fabrics because it can come close to your needle on the sewing machine and it won't, I mean, this is not finger. My finger's too big, so, um, no, it's not too big, but it's, this is small enough to get in there into those, th those little corners to make sure you do not injure your fingers, to make sure you don't get pierced, that the needles don't pierce through your fingers. Use this to feed it. I use it when I'm working on um, when I'm working with gathers because gathers can get quite tricky. So I use it to feed the gathers nicely so it comes out evenly. What I use this for a lot of things whilst I'm sewing, and some sometimes when I just get so frustrated I can't find my seam ripper. I just use this to pull out my seams. I use it for it. I mean, this should be really the first thing on my list, but something else is coming. So that's number. This has got to be number four. Yeah, this is number four, my owl. Um, okay, so the next one is this. Don't ask, don't ask, but you know, sometimes you've just got to do what you've got to do. This here is, uh, um, it, it, it's for art pressing. I use it to press princess seams. Yeah, princess seams. And um, <laughs> it's a bra. It's an old bra, like one of my bras. It goes on one side. <laughs> It goes on one side and it's a bra that I stuffed with a load of rubbish. I don't know, it's probably old fabric, I can't even remember. Let's feel it. Yeah, it's fabric. So I stuffed it with fabric, but you know, you know, you know, a padded bra. It's nice and curved and soft. So I um feel stuffed it with fabric pieces and then I put a, an old saucer. Can you see that? You can see it's a saucer. Put the saucer to, to cover it to make sure it stays nice and flat. 
and I've had this for ages for such a long time then I wrapped it with a cotton like woven interfacing like woven fusible interfacing wrapped it around and pressed it with my iron because you know fusible interfacing will stick onto fabric so um, I just wrapped it around and just pressed it lightly just kept going on and on and on and on until I got everything to stay in one place I've had this for so long but it's still here still standing and waxing strong so I put my princess seams especially the, the you know the bust curve put it all around and it just presses ever so neatly guys I read why is this not my number one I think this should be my number one this is because it's it's a game changer and anyone and everyone can have one and as long as you make you know you make women's wear that have women's wear would it work curves this works with curves when you're pressing curves comes out neatly because your um your art uh, your pressing ham is wider it's it covers a wider uh, area this one here is it's it's a it's for the it, this is for a bust isn't it it's a bra it's a bra cup so it will do exactly what a bra cup is supposed to do and even better if you have it in your size so it, so if you use your own bra because you'll be creating garments in your size so i mean what kind of else you want this is the best this should be my best <laughs> yeah my number two is is this here um, when I started sewing um, there were times when I just you know when you get into the zone you're pressing and you know you've got your iron you probably use your cloth to cover the fabric to protect it and um, you get into the zone you forget what you're doing you grab the iron put it on the fabric and it ruins your fabric <laughs> well it's happened to me so many times until okay until I discovered Okay, the reason why it's sitting in the packet, not one, I've got another one. Yeah, I've got two. They're so cheap. They're dirt cheap on um, Amazon. I mean, when I bought it, it was cheap. I don't know, I'm not, it's been a while since I bought them. And this one's still fine. But I just, I, when I discovered it, I thought, no, I, I have to have. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? When you know, you discover something, you know, it's so good that you don't want to not have one. So what I did was I bought two extras just in case. So I use it's a Teflon iron cover. You um, you uh, put it on your iron and it's got a spring at the back. It goes with most iron standard sized irons and it just you know goes at the back there and believe you me with delicate fabric just so you know. I use it with silk. I use use it with chiffon. I use it with really thick fabric medium fabric or I use it with even interfacing the lightest of interfacings it doesn't scorch it doesn't melt it doesn't try it out let me know what you think <laughs> okay and then my number one on my the number one tool on my list well this is not really a tool it's a gadget oh my god my singer sewing machine it's a quantum stylus 9960 Okay, so <laughs> ever since I started sewing, um, I haven't come across a machine as sleek as this one. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a singer ambassador. I'm saying it because it's what it is. It does what it says on the tin. It's such a smooth sewing machine. Um, oh, I love it. It has um, so many, it has like tons of stitches. It has buttons that are just there for you to just select what you need to do. You don't need to keep going back and forth like changing stitch, stitch um, the bottom stitch widths. You don't have to keep doing that. And I love it, especially when I have to create um, create gathers. You you know you just select, move the needle position, press by pressing one button. How easy! I mean, it cuts. I know most you know sewing machines that are coming out these days. Um, have thread cutters but this one's got it's my first ever thread cutting sewing machine you've got me I'm, I'm sold that's I mean and I've got so many scissors my scissors just there lying lying down there not doing anything because I don't use I don't reach for them that much anymore um, do you want me to show I'll show you I've got <laughs> I've got so many snipping scissors I actually use them when I'm on the overlocker so yeah I've got that one I've got this one here, I've got this, I've got, they're all sitting in the little, in the little basket where I save all my, you know, bits and pieces. Look at them. I haven't used them for such a long time on my, while sewing. It's crazy. 
um, it has a thread cutter, this one. The speed goes back and forth, you know, I mean, you can slow down the speed, or you can make it go faster. Um, it's so, so fast and it's so sleek and quiet. It's just crazy. I mean, my household's never been the same since I started using it. And she's called Tina. Tina. Like Tina Turner, the singer. And this is a singer. And it's a Quantum Stylist 9960. I mean, check it out, guys. If you like it, let me know what you think. It's a really, really good machine. It got, it's got so many functions, this one. And um, I can't shut... Do you know, can I just say... Everything here have really changed. They've all changed my sewing game. So it's really hard. It was really, really hard ranking them. But my sewing machine, my um, stylist, just had to top them all up. You had to top them. I mean, the iron cover, everything. It's just, it's amazing. So this is where you come in. I need your help. Let me know if there's anything on this list, on my list, that um, is one of your favorite um, sewing tools and um, also let me know if there's anything on my list that you're going to give a try I'd really like to know because um, I want everyone else to you know get a taste of these because um, your sewing your sewing game be, will not be the same it will not remain the same just try it out and let me know okay it was so lovely lovely sitting down and filming a video again and i do hope to um get more videos across to you to help you with your sewing journey and um till next time take care everyone thank you very much and um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet yeah please subscribe um join the family and um take care and i'll see you soon goodbye